Welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Happy Thursday. Tonight, we're being lazy. We're staying here. We're making drinks at home, a.k.a. the studio. Really, that's what we're doing in a few minutes. But are you doing the same thing? What about Friday and Saturday night? Did you see the study from Mental that came out this week? So apparently, the latest thing us millennials are being dubbed is the stay-at-home generation. The study says 28% of younger millennials drink alcohol at home because it takes too much effort to go out. Yeah, so we're all lazy bums or maybe just don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on a cocktail we could make in our own kitchen. So I asked you, what do you think? Are you the stay-at-home type? Joey says, yep, drinking at home is cheaper. Also, no need to pay for an Uber. House party for the win. Heather echoes that, saying she's trying to avoid finding a designated driver and definitely trying to avoid ending up in jail. Aren't we all, though? Scott's reasoning is that he's just being responsible. He has a family to take care of now and doesn't want to be hungover for his trip to the Home Depot on Saturday. Those lights are very bright in there. And for the other Scott here, he likes being his own boss at home. It's a safe haven. Just give him t TV and a kitchen, and he's happy. But we do want you at home to chime in, too, about why you are staying home more. What's your reason? You can see on the screen uh, you're trying to save money, you are just very lazy, or you just like spending time at home. So far, actually, a lot of people are saying you're lazy. So we'll reveal the results at the end of the show. For me, I do go out sometimes, and then immediately I feel bad about how much money I spent on drinks. Also, sometimes I am just lazy, and sometimes I just want to spend all my money on avocado toast or like a house someday, you know? Okay, well we're gonna help you out if you wanna stay at home, make cocktails, but step up your game. You don't want just like, I don't know, vodka, soda, and a lemon or something. So with the help of a local company, Raft Syrups is here. Genevieve, AKA the Bitter Housewife. Yes, that's we're, me. We're not just like making that up. You're not a bitter <laughs> housewife, you make bitters. I do make bitters. Bitter housewife, right? I'm a, you know, I also drink cocktails so that I'm a little less bitter. But that, and I generally yes. drink them at home too, although I'm outside of the millennial age range. But you that's know. okay. You know, smart people, we're just making them at home. We're and we're mixing them up. And this is how you seem smarter and cooler and make your cocktails taste better. Yeah. So we're actually making some mocktails right now. We're gonna make some mocktails. Um, today I brought ginger which most people love Ooh, uh, ginger uh -huh. syrup what we do is um, pair syrup and bitters together basically it's a concentrated mixer um, you get to add your own alcohol or not adjust as much soda water as you want so if you want it a little stronger a little sweeter and that's everybody has a different palate so you might like something sweeter somebody else might like something a little less mm -hmm. they can mix what they want so this with the soda would kind of make like a ginger beer ginger kind of beer flavor. yeah ginger beer ginger ale so I'm gonna let you actually add your own bitters so you can kind of see how this works. Now I was telling you before the show started that I have one of your bitters at home and I've only used it a couple times because I just do not know what to do with it and I don't wanna like show that to people so I just don't use them very much unless I'm like by myself. But so that's why I'm excited because you're actually gonna show me what to do. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna add, which bitters do I use? So we're gonna play with the aromatic bitters, which is kind of my take on an Angostura bitters. It's uh -huh. got a lot of baking spices, fresh ginger, cinnamon, Ooh. all spice. But what I want you to do first is take a little taste Ooh, of okay. just the soda mm -hmm. and the um, ginger so you can see what it tastes like before. And then mm. what I would recommend Ooh, is gingery. add like four dashes. Do a big like this. You can do it one. Oh. <laughs> or you miss Are the you glass. Are you impressive? Are you impressing your friends <laughs> if you like dump it all over your? Yes. Oh god. Oh, how do you? Do okay. <laughs> this is an easy thing. Do a little aim, and then you go one, two, oh. three, oh, yeah. and then do a quick little stir, mm -hmm. and then take a sip and see how that's changed. And then you can kind of go, you know what, I like that. Oh, yeah. I want a little bit more of the bitters, or you know what, that's perfect. Wow, a little kind of smoky taste. Mm -hmm. You get a little mm -hmm. vanilla, you get a little cinnamon, add a shot of whiskey or uh, rum, mm -hmm. and you've got yourself an awesome cocktail at home. Wow. And we've got these fun little kits that have recipes in them. We've already paired the bitters and syrups together, so you don't even have to think about what flavors go together. Once you get a little bit more comfortable, then you can start making and matching yourself. I like that. Yeah, and you can find them around town at New Seasons, Hollywood Liquor, uh, Zoo Pans, Market of Choice, all, and get your soda water there, get some little fruit to throw in if you want to put fun garnishes. Simple, easy That's peasy. Excellent, you can find all the recipes and stuff at raftsyrups.com. I like that you mm -hmm. guys don't hoard your recipes. You're like, here, no. we'll give you all the info. 
just get the good products that yeah. we make super easy for you. Have you ever made something that with the bitters and syrups, like is there a bad combination? Is there a way to do it wrong? <laughs> something we should watch out for? I don't think there's so much a way to do it wrong as it just might not be what you want it you know, yeah. your flavor palette. The smoked tea vanilla is one that it's like, people either love it or they're like, yeah, not, not my deal. Uh -huh. So, um, but citrus rosemary, hibiscus lavender, people love those. We got a lemon ginger, really easy. Yeah. And with a little bit of practice, you can make that and hopefully avoid spilling it all over <laughs> your kitchen counter. But if not, just make the drinks before your yeah. desk get there. It's all good. Wipe it off. It's all Show good. Show your dad on Father's Day you're a responsible adult. <laughs>